The Thanksgiving holiday is really meant to be an occasion in which we put aside our normal activities so that we can spend the day focusing on gratitude and thankfulness. But I'm not sure that most of us spend the day doing either one of those things. So to that end, we thought it would be of value to interview some of our parishioners and ask them two crucial questions. What does gratitude mean to you? And what are you thankful for right now? So I'll begin. Gratitude for me is a state of mind that needs to be cultivated. And what I mean by that is, it seems to me that the ego, uh, the mind, tends to really focus on the negative. When you think about the conversations that you have with people, oftentimes they're not about what's right, what's good, what's positive, what we're grateful for, but rather they tend to circle around what's incomplete, what's flawed, what's dissatisfactory. And so I think that we need to begin to ask ourselves the question every single day, what am I thankful for? In spite of whatever's going wrong, in spite of difficulty or challenge, that each day we ask ourselves, what am I thankful for? And if we do that day after day after day, I think we'll find ourselves becoming happier people. And as for what I'm thankful for, in this year of the pandemic, this unpredictable, unrehearsed year, from the very beginning, my colleague, Father Jim Nesbitt, has been joining me here at Nativity of Our Lady. His wit, his insight, his friendship have made this whole experience a lot less lonely. And so I'm very thankful for Father Jim. And so I'd like to invite you to sit back and listen to some of the responses that our parishioners have given. And don't be surprised if you find that sometimes they had a little trouble actually articulating what it is they're grateful for and what they're thankful for right now. <sighs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess I think too deeply. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh. I think of gratitude as being aware of the sacred moments that God presents for us. And they're easy to miss, especially if you're distracted or tired or negative, but they're the blessings, the sacred blessings that are in front of you all over the place all the time. And I think what I'm most grateful for are the three F's, faith, family, and friends. During this time of isolation, it's been difficult. I've, I've suffered from some loneliness and depression, and, but when I go to mass, like today, <laughs> you know, just somehow it just kind of wipes it clean and it erases all the um, worries and fears because I'm lifted up. So that's, thank you. Um, gratitude is probably T, thankfulness with a capital T. Thankful, I can be thankful for small things, but gratitude in, encompasses so much of the big things, life, faith, God. I'm very grateful for those things. At the moment, I'm most grateful for being right here, right now. I'm alive. I can see my family, I can see God's work in the earth, and I'm looking forward to seeing what God is going to do with our current situation. <laughs> Can't I do what I am so grateful for? <laughs> okay, Get, that's not gonna work. In looking at my own life, when I think of what I'm most thankful for, I remember hearing a phrase one time in theology, and it's always stuck in my mind. I wish I could remember who it was. But one of the saints said, I thank God, first of all, for faith, the gift without which life would be no gift at all. And that's what I'm most thankful for. When I look around me in education, everything, it was amazing to me how many people brighter than me did not have any concept of faith. And it's thanks to faith that I find strength when someone dies. I know there's something beyond it. It's because of faith I'm able to believe that one day, no matter how I disintegrate as I get older and stuff like that, that there is something else coming. It gives me a way to stand in circumstances that I see are very, very difficult, that I, I simply cannot imagine living without faith. And that is the thing for which I am absolutely most grateful. Definition of gratitude. Gratitude is recognizing and understanding how very fortunate we are and for all of the things that are wonderful and amazing and beautiful in our lives 
all provided by God and to be a part of our community here at Nativity where there is love all around us every week. I'm thankful for family. Family is the basis of unity. That is where uh, nurturing starts from. I'm thankful that I'm able to have a family that I can be able to um, pray and rejoice together when need be. I think what I'm most thankful for this year is my family and the gift of our wonderful little daughter. <laughs> 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 oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. I think of appreciation. And the things that I am most appreciative for this year are a loving family, supportive friends, and a healthy sense of humor. The thing I'm most thankful for, I'm thankful for my God, for my wife, and for my family. Um, what I'm most thankful for this year is family and friends, as always, and good health, especially and uh, Nativity of Our Lady, for sure. <laughs> this year I'm most thankful for my family and my wonderful daughter. I'm, oh, okay. there you go. Plenty how they work. <laughs> I am absolutely a believer in having an attitude of gratitude. I think that when we say thanks on a consistent basis, particularly, and our prayers at night with God, that we are given even more reasons to be grateful. I am very thankful for the incredible life that God has given me, for the many experiences and the lessons that he's given me along the way, and for my relationships with God, with my family, and with my friends, and of course with all of you here at Nativity of Our Lady. You've really made this place a special place to be, and I am so incredibly grateful. I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving, and may God bless each and every single one of you. I'm thankful for you, Charlie. I'm thankful for you, Ella. Aww. Among the many things that I'm thankful for this year is our brand new parking lot, funded by our Raising the Star Capital Campaign. Thanks to the generosity of our parishioners, we have this brand new parking lot. We've replaced our sewer line, we've installed nighttime lighting, and we've replaced our fencing. It's made it a much more pleasing and safer environment for whenever you come to our church. So thank you. Thank you to all of you who've made this possible and all of our future dreams and hopes for our parish campus. I hope that you'll join us this coming Thanksgiving morning as we begin the day by celebrating Eucharist at nine o'clock in the morning. Bring a lawn chair, bring your mask, prepare to be, have your hands sanitized and your temperature taken. Join us on Thanksgiving day as we come together to pray, to sing, to celebrate the Eucharist, a word which means thanksgiving, and begin the day in gratitude and in thankfulness. I'm Father Matt Pennington at Nativity of Our Lady in San Luis Obispo, California. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Father Matt Pennington at... <laughs>